What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we have now marked out the entire Faron region with all of the Koroks that are available. Now, instead of going from the southernmost point to the northernmost point, we're going to go from west to east because this is quite a horizontal looking area and I kind of feel like it would be easier to do. Plus, it means we finish on the very peak of the point, which is very nice. Anyway, we're going to start off west of the tower, right by the Sarjan Woods on this little bridge and path junction here. So starting off, here is the bridge. The Korok we need is actually going to take us in across the bridge. Damn it, I just got out of my skeletal clothing for these guys. And anyway, it's a flower trial that'll take us across the bridge. I'll see you there in a moment. Well, not so much over the bridge, but over the water at least. Next up, we're actually going into the trees here. Now for this guy, it is a balloon inside the tree. Go up the highest ledge, you'll see it nice and easy. Okay, next up we're going down the very bottom of this path, east of Herlin Lake. Herin Lake, even. And this guy is just under a rock, under a little, or on, on top of a little cove. The next easternmost one, or I guess western, westernmost one, is way up top here, the top of this mound, east of the Spring of Courage. Here we are closing in and you can start to see that it is a little Korok race trial that's going to take us to the peak of another mound over there. Let me get my energy back. Right over there. See you over there. Next up we're going into the Tobio's Hollow into this little lakey part here. Which is literally just down here. Now there are two Koroks here. One of which is a rock formation on that main rock over there. So it turns out Cryonis does not work, but there are plenty of trees here which you can break down to get across like a bridge. And it is a triangle formation. Next Korok is literally in the same hollow, is right over here where you will find... Archery! You will find Archery. And with those two done, we're going to go up to another peak, just on the eastern side of this little hollow. And up here is another archery test. Next up we're going down south to the southern part of the Tobio's Hollow. Gosh, what a struggle. Next, we're going a little southeast to the northern part of this area, just southeast of the Kile Plain. And over here is with the really red mountain. Am I saying that right? Anyway, it is a Korok trial race taking us way up to the top. It's raining, so no thank you. <laughs> perfect aim and everything. Perfect distant height. Right, now we're going southwest over to the west part of the Kamar Plateau. And this guy is invisibly running around. Next we're going further south to the Bronus Forest, up on a ledge by the trees. And this is an offering place. It's a bit bigger than usual though. Just give him a hearty durian. Next we're going further south to the southern part of the Bronus Forest. Bronus? Bronus kind of makes sense. And over here you will find a massive stump, which atop that is a very sneaky balloon. There we go. Way down at the bottom it was. Next up, we're going further south, almost directly south of the uh, tower, going onto this mound here, east of the bottom of the path. Now up here is another offering statue. Once again, you want a durian. Next, we're going just a little bit east to the next body of water, just down here. And in the center of the mud is our Korok. I almost called it a Pikmin. Wow. Am I tired? Yes, yes I might be. 
Now we're going down soon. No, we're not. We'll go east, just to the stables. And for this, we're not going on the stable horse. We're going underneath it. There is a goatee that it has. Burn it, or completely miss it somehow, and you'll get your Korok. Now we're going to the northeastern moat point of this little beach, Martha's Landing. Next we're going west to the end of the uh, pier landing. Sure. And this is a simple rock formation. Try not to annoy the stone talus like I did, huh? Lovely! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Gorok. And yeah, we'll go to the bottom of this little cove south of the U-Boater Point too. And it's just a little Korok underneath the cove. Next up, we're going to do another loop from north to south, apparently, because I want to do it in like western chunks like that. So next, we're going just north, or just on, the Riola Spring. Well, that was a welcome surprise. The Korok we need to be is here. Wow, what a... All right, let me put on my Thunder Helm so I at least don't get zapped. But that was incredibly lucky that that shows up on time. But anyway, what we want to do is see all this treasure. Oh, I guess I was wrong, though I'll accept it all anyway. Oh, there it is. It's like way hidden down. But where are you? There you are. Just need to put it up onto its normal pedestal. There we go. Gosh, that was a fun coincidence. Next, we're going just south of the uh, shrine, the bottom of the waterfall. And this is a race Korok taking us to the very top of the waterfall. I would go to the chests, but I don't really have the time or the patience for them, honestly. And they probably aren't going to be that great. This is where I find out one of them's a diamond, but oh well. Anyway, it's very clear the best way to do this is using your Zora armor to get all the way up there in time. I imagine it's probably the only way you could do it. So good job I came here after all of that, considering I got the Zora armor last ever. But oh well. Anyway, next we're going to go onto the Rodai Lake, or just west of it. So, huh, hello. We now want to go onto this little ledge by the waterfall. There's a rock. Next, we're going west to the same quarter lake on the opposite side of this main Florida Falls bit. So, uh, here's the waterfall. There is a magnetic puzzle to do here. One has the block, one has the puzzle. Man, it's a real shame that I'm not doing the treasures now, because apparently there's tons and they're really interesting. Like, this one had to lift up a boulder and they just sort of appeared from underneath it, but oh well. There we go. Next up, we're going just a little bit east onto the Floria Falls text. And this is simply a flower trial atop one of the statues here. Yeah. And doing this without hearing is going to be very fun. Okay, next up we're going just by the Ibarra Forest text. And in the Ibarra Forest. And that was it. There was a luminous stone in the statue here. Bit of an odd one, but there you go. Next up we're going onto the Floria Bridge. And this is very simply an archery puzzle from the bridge. Next up we're going just to the waterfall of the Razla Lake. So this one is behind the waterfall, once I land in it properly, oh. on a little ledge at the bottom. This is where you can find the cube, actual cube, yeah, not the cube puzzle. The cube puzzle is on the other side of the waterfall. First things first, can I actually grab this thing? There we go. Bring it out. Or not. Okay, sure. Let's just do it like that. How this Octorok can still see us, I have no idea. We have one half of the puzzle there. And the other one up there. Next up, we're going to the Ubotta Point. 
but around these trees here. So for this one, it is an offering statue. There's only one, but they are asking for a banana. You can tell this because there's loads of bananas growing pretty much everywhere here. I'm surprised the Yiga clan aren't here. And it was around here, not quite there, but oh well. Anyway, next we're going southeast to the end of the Ubota point. Ubota. And for this, there's just a rock in the middle of nowhere with a slightly different colored patch of grass. Okay, now that that is done, we're doing another loop from the north. So now we're going to the very peak of the Bremen Peak. Oh, here we are during the pouring rain at the very peak is a rock. Next one we're grabbing is just by this body of water here, southeast of this peak. And for this, we once again need to throw rocks into the circle. Use Cryonus to help you. Anyway, real disappointed this misses. There we go. Next, we're going directly west, just south of the Hickley Woods, right by this tree here. And in this tree is a rock. Next, we're going to a peak just by the Brenham Peak, just on this one here, northeast of Mount Floria Peak. Gosh, I never get a break with these flower trials. They always give me trouble, every time. Anyway, next up we're going to the peak of Mount Floria. And what do you know, there's a rock at the top. So next we're going to this little island east of the Riola Spring. And this is a nice and simple tree puzzle. Next up we're going to the Salora Lake. And this is another cube puzzle. Now we're going just east of Salora Lake, down a ledge, to another tree puzzle. You can tell by the map. That was almost... I think that might have even been the exact same Hearty Durian one as the last one. Hmm. And finally for this little line, we're going to the peak of this area, east of Lake Floria, and west of Yambi Lake. And you can see off in the distance, it is, a, it is a giant rock formation. Two, in fact. One is missing a piece, and the other has one too many. Oh, what a look at that one. Background, whatever. Colouring, lighting, I like it. Right, I think we can get this last one done in one really wide loop. So next up, we're going to the Meta Mountain, over to the Koto Pond here. So for this, there are some invisible Koroks running around. Well, just one, so capture it. Next, we're going just southwest to the Mount Taran and Brema Peak area into the tree in between them. Here we are, and you'll actually see it's a deep cavern, not just a tree. Anyway, that's not important because you actually need to get to the rock right next to the tree. Right, next, we're going far off to the east to the Stinger Cliffs, right by this body of water here. And this guy is a very basic little lily pad Gorok. Next up, we're going southeast again, just northeast of the Kea Pond. So where we want to be is here by this tree, you will find a nice little cave. Within that is a bombable rock, hiding away our core rock. Next up, we're going just a tad bit southeast to the Kea Pond. So where you need to be is the actual southern part of this area, because I got it wrong on my map. And then you follow it because it is another flower trial. Well, the w <laughs> okay, the guide I was following for this Korok was just completely wrong. It wasn't looping around. According to them, it just went like there to there to there to there. That w no, we were like th like this. I'm pretty sure. Oh well, damn it. All right. Anyway, next up, we're going far off to the west to the Courage Steppe on this little tree in the middle of the body of water. And this is a nice little apple offering station. Station? Station. Next up, we're going just north of the Atten Valley curve here. It's by these little bushes on the map here. And over here is just a simple batch of leaves that you blow up with either a sword or a bomb. 
and you get the cork. Next we're going far to the east again, to the peak of Mount Dunzel. On here is an invisible Korok for us. Is it going to give us the most evil Korok ever with this blood moon going on? Let's find out. Next we're going to the Palome Ruins by this body of water here. And this is a lily pad Korok. Probably the most demonic lily pad one we'll ever meet. Next one we're going for is directly west along these bushes of trees southeast of the Yarin Shrine or just the end of the path through Utten Valley. So where we actually are, are so we're actually in Lurlin Village and we need to do this rock formation at the top of the inn. To do that we need to skyrocket a, ro a rock up on there using stasis. It's pretty uh, extravagant. So I decided to do things in a bit of an unorthodox way, but it worked. I used an Octo Balloon and some Bomb Arrows and Stasis. It all worked out. Ugh. Just about. And we can finish our triangle formation. Next up we're going a tiny bit south, again just right by the inn. And for this it's a flower trial that starts on top of the inn. Next, we're going to a little bit southwest again by another clump of trees at the corner of this little path. Now, this one is super sneaky, but on top of this little building here, there are a bunch of palm fruits up top, and in between all of them is an arrow, as an apple, even not an arrow. Well, now there's an arrow. Next, we're going southwest again to the peak of Tuft Mountain. And what do you know, at the top is a rock. Next we're going east again to the Corn Beach. And as you can see from way up high here, it is a three part um, rock formation. That's it. There are three small circles surrounding this big one. And at this point, we don't really need to go north to south anymore, so I'm going to go back for this guy south of Tuft Mountain by the Klarnet Coast. And it is another rock formation. This time, not so much a, a triangle, but I guess kind of a heart? Huh. Next, we're going just west of the Rimba Beach, or the west part of it. Almost done. Alright, so for this one we need to go a little bit north of where my marker actually is. We need to go to this batch of trees. It is a flower trial taking us there. This flower thing, man, bring me right back here. I can't do this without sound. It just, ugh. God, what a mess of a flower trial. And on top of that, the guy doesn't help at all. They don't seem to acknowledge looping back on yourself or anything. Just, ah, uh, I just, maybe I'm not reading it right, but, ugh. Anyway, next we're now gonna go south of Rimba Beach right here. And this is a nice little lily pad Korok. Although more of a uh, seaweed suckle. And now the final two. First we're starting at the top or the the beginning of the soaker point right on this corner here. And this is again another seaweed lily pad Korok. And the final one is very predictably at the very end of the soaker point. And the final Korok is hidden behind a rock at the bottom of the palm tree. All right, so lovely. Look at that, what a dramatic ending. With that, we now have completed every single Korok in the entire Faron region. Every Korok in 90, or I guess 80% of Hyrule has now been collected. 
and we are now done with this little corner of the area until we go and take on Kenobo Island but we'll come oh it's not even Kenobo it's Koho Lint no it's not it's Taronbo wow I apparently did not memorize anything what's Kenobo Teno I have no idea anyway now that we're done with that we have one more area I want to take on before Central High Rule, and then we're going into end game. We're going to the Akala region. We came here for the Akala Ancient Tech Lab and for Tarry Town, which I still don't actually have a shrine to get to for there. But either way, we came here beforehand for little side quests. Now we're going to do it properly for side quests. Next time we're going to the Akala region and clearing out the last of the side quests that we have to do. Then we're doing all the shrines, then we're doing all the Koroks, and then we're going into proper end game fun. For now though, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. I'm excited.